Hello, it's Shem from RetroBreathe here with another Miu Mini beginner tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best format for storing your PS1 games on your Miu Mini for the best performance, least use of storage, and the maximum convenience. PS1 games, either ripped from the CD or sourced from elsewhere, will typically come in one or multiple .bin files and a .q file. These files should work fine on the Miu Mini, but they are far from efficient when it comes to how much space they take up on your SD card. Because there may be multiple .bin files for a game, it can also cause issues with your game list, showing multiple copies of the same game, and it also just kind of looks messy on your SD card. Also, it can be really annoying to have multiple entries in the game list for one game that has more than one disc. In this tutorial, we'll convert our PS1 games from the bin slash Q format into one of two different formats. The .chd format, which is a very efficient compressed file of your game that takes up less space than the raw .bin and .q files that you'd usually have, or the .pbp, otherwise known as eboot format, which we'll only use for multi-disc games such as Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, and others. This is actually the format that the PSP used to use for PS1 games, and it allows us to merge multiple discs into one single, easy-to-use file. Note that using Onion OS is a prerequisite to using .chd files. If you're not on Onion already, I highly recommend you follow my guide on how to install it quickly and easily. If you're not on Onion and you don't want to update, you can skip to the PBP section using the timestamps. We'll start by converting some PS1 games into the CHD format. You'll want to use the CHD format for every one of your games that just has one disc. To begin with, we'll need to download a tool called CHD Man, which stands for CHD Manager. Also, CHD stands for Compressed Hunks of Data, by the way. There's a link to CHD Man in the description box below, which will take you to the Recalbox wiki. Download chdman.zip and extract it into its own folder on somewhere like the desktop. Inside this folder, there's an exe file and a handful of bat files. Make a new folder named Input, then drop all of your PS1 games into that folder. You can drag them directly off the SD card into the folder if you want, but note that we definitely do not want to do this process directly on the SD card, so make sure you copy them to your PC first. When all of your games are in the input folder, double-click the Q or GDI to chd.bat file, and make sure you choose the right one. The program will open a terminal window and will begin converting all of your games one by one. This can take some serious time depending on how many games you're converting, which means you have plenty of time to leave a comment and a like on this video and subscribe if you like my content. I've got a few more Mio Mini tutorials out now, let me know if there's something you'd like to see. In fact, the video you're watching right now was a viewer request. Two things I should explain while this completes. Firstly, the software here essentially scans its current folder and any subfolders for any and all .q or .gdi files, and automatically compresses them for you without requiring you to do anything further. You may want to clear out the input folder after you're done, so that next time you want to use the program, it doesn't try and convert the same games again. The second thing is the ratio value. The compression ratio is essentially the file size difference between the original file and the converted files. Basically, this means that the new file size is the percentage of the original file size. If the original file was 100 megabytes and the ratio is 60%, that means that the new file would be just 60 megabytes. You can imagine how much storage space you could free up on your Miu Mini using this compression. Castlevania Symphony of the Night gets around a 64% compression ratio, which is pretty amazing. Alrighty, when it's done converting, the terminal window will close automatically and you'll find your freshly converted .chd files in the chd man folder. You can right click the folder and select group by type to make it easier to find your CHDs. Now just copy them back across to your Miu Mini and enjoy all the disk space you just freed up. So that's the first method, which you should use, like I said, for any game other than multi-disc games. For multi-disc games, we use the software called PSX to PSP to convert our multi-disc games from several files into one single .pbp file. There's a link to GBA Temp where you can download PSX to PSP in the description box of this video. Download the file and once again extract the contents to a folder somewhere. Open the PSX to PSP application and select Theme Mode. It's a bit friendlier to use. Most of the stuff that you can do in this program, like adding thumbnails, is only relevant to the PSP and thus can be ignored. All we need is the Convert menu, so go ahead and open it. Click the three dots next to the top box that says ISO slash PBP file 1. Then browse to the first disc of your multi-disc game. I'm using Legend of Dragoon, which has four discs in total. Select the file for your first disc, which is probably a .bin file, but note the program also lets you select ISO, IMG, or PBP files. Click the small down arrow next to what is now the game title, and select ISO slash PBP file 2. Click the three dots again and select disc 2. Repeat this process for any additional disks, then click the three dots next to the output PBP folder. This will be where the converted PBP file will be after the conversion. I usually just select the PSX to PSP folder itself. 
Click convert, ignoring everything else in the list, and also ignore the crazy numbers in the progress bar too. For some reason mine went down to minus 105% before it completed. Anyway, it will notify you when it's complete. In the output folder, you will now find a folder like this. This is the game's serial number. Inside is a file named eboot.pbp. Just rename this file to the original game title and you're done. Copy the game to your SD card and you're good to go. This one file contains all four discs, which you can easily swap between on the MiU Mini whenever you need to. As an example, I have another multi-disc game, Metal Gear Solid, which is ready for me to insert disc number two. To change discs using my one PBP file, open the RetroArch menu by pressing Function and Select at the same time. Then, select Disk Control at the bottom. Select Eject Disk, then select Current Disk Index, and you'll see a list of the available disks within your file. Select the one that you want, then select Insert Disk. You'll be taken back into the game, and there you go. Disk two is loaded and good to go. All of this with just one compressed file on your MiU Mini. And that's it! That ends another RetroBreeze tutorial for the MiU Mini. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more content, and I will look forward to seeing you next time.